for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another Madden 24 video for you guys today. Today, I have five different leaks that have come out over the last week or so, uh, some of which have just come out within the last day or two, for some very reputable sources when it comes to Madden information. And I'm going to go over all that in today's video. But before I do, as always, if you guys want to see more videos Woo! like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. It really helps out the video and the channel. Other than that, let's go and get right into it. Now, the first one is something that probably should be common sense by now but I don't think that uh, enough people are aware of this so I'm going to bring it up as my first leak and that's that Madden 24 is going to have two different games uh, which is something that they've had since next gen consoles have come out and I think most people probably uh, I mean, I know a lot of people might think with a hope that eventually that the uh, the current gen uh, platform or the old gen platform will get an upgrade and get to next gen uh, type graphics and gameplay and stuff like that. I just don't, it's just not going to happen. Eventually, um, when you're on old consoles like this, I mean, they just get left uh, by the wayside and wither away and die. I mean, people, you know, the, 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 the obviously EA knows that if they were to upgrade the old game, that less and less people are going to be playing it over time based off the fact that more and more people are going to buy the new consoles. So it just doesn't make financial sense for them to do that. And I also don't think that it necessarily um, is going to hold up anyway as far as it wouldn't, you know, it doesn't have the processing speed and all that stuff to basically have the graphics and whatnot. But it would be nice to see EA just add a few of the smaller features uh, to uh, current gen um, that next gen has. Things like, uh, you know, coaching adjustments you know saying your zone adjustments to match or something like that small stuff that I get in my comment section all the time of people saying that you know something that I show them is not in there or the new passing function which isn't in there things like that I'm sure would be uh, you know very appreciated probably wouldn't take a ton of time to put into current gen games uh, but I don't expect them to do that and the reason for that is because current gen Madden literally hasn't really changed since Madden 20 since the end of Madden 20 and I know this for a fact because the exact same same glitches and one play touchdowns still work they've completely abandoned that game so if you're still on current gen it probably doesn't make sense for you to continue to buy the game because you're really spending 60 bucks for roster update and we all know that by now but the next thing might excite some of the people that are on current gen and don't plan on getting a next gen console and that's the fact that the game is also going to be on pc now this is something that comes and goes from time to time sometimes it's available on pc sometimes it's not but it's going to be available on pc uh, once again in madden 24 and it's going to be on next gen so if you're on pc you will get next gen experience so if you're playing between the two um you know if you're if you're on old gen and you don't plan on getting a new console and you have a nice pc you can always switch to pc and get the next gen version that way now if you have a pc and you want to play on pc you may be saying well you know i can't go on pc because then i won't be able to connect to my you know my connected online franchise or maybe you won't be able to play your friends well the good news about that is uh there's a leak that just came out yesterday that makes it look as if Crossplay is coming to Madden 24, and that's not just Xbox to PlayStation, which is kind of what I thought it would be. It looks like it's going to be Xbox to PlayStation to even computer, which I'm not 100% sure that I fully endorse. I definitely endorse Xbox to PlayStation because that's something that should have been in the game a long time ago. I'll go ahead and I'll read you guys this tweet. This is from an account called Mutt Leaks, which is a very reputable uh, account. They do a lot of things when it comes to coding in EA's games. Uh, which is very uh, unique. There's not a lot of Twitter handles or Twitter accounts out there that do that. I, in the past, actually put out um, some videos questioning if DDA was in Madden, and I've had people from Mutt Leaks uh, contact me and say, well, it's not coded in the game. So if they say it's not coded in the game, I got to believe them. And I basically stopped making videos about DDA. I mean, if you watch my channel for a long time, when was the last time I made a video about DDA? So basically the tweet reads um, that in previous Madden generation games, each platform had a unique patch data branch, rosters, live content, tuning, etc. In Madden 24, per platform branches are removed. Only two branches now exist, Gen 4 and Gen 5. Now, Gen 5 is what we're on now. It's PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X. Gen 4 is PlayStation 4 and Xbox, you know, the last gen Xbox. So basically what they're saying is that since there's no coding in the game uh, as far as 
um, you know, directly for specific consoles. It means that, you know, if you're on last gen, you're going to be communicating with everybody in the last gen audience, whether it's, you know, Xbox four or Xbox one or PlayStation four. If you're on current gen, which is, well, I mean, it's next gen, but if it's on PlayStation five or Xbox series X, or even computers, cause like I said previously in the video that if you play on a PC, you will be playing on next gen. Um, all those people will be in the same pool and able to play each other, whether it's an online franchise, uh, online head to head. I'm, I'm guessing Mutt will be the same way. Everybody will be playing from the same, um, you know, from the same source when it comes to, you know, like the auction houses and stuff like that, which, like I said, it sounds good in theory, but I know that when people are playing on PC, they have a lot less restrictions when it comes to things like hacking and glitching and stuff like that. And it could uh, be problematic because we've seen how slow EA is to react when it comes to things like, uh, you know, decent glitches or disconnect glitches to win games. They still haven't really patched that. I just played a guy the other day was ranked number four in the world and I didn't know that till after the game ended I went into a game and immediately desynced me and kicked me out and gave me a loss there are people that do that and it's frustrating for the rest of the you know online experience and I think that if the next gen audience is sharing that experience with PC I really could see it be problematic and I don't know if EA would do a good job of solving that issue because they they've already shown their track record is not solving issues very well or very timely or very quickly at all so that's something that could be a concern uh, but at the end of the day, it's still, you know, cross platform between Xbox and PlayStation. I, I'm all for because obviously you have the restrictions of the consoles. You can't do too much uh, more than that. But it'll be interesting to see what happens once that game comes out because it could be really cool. It'll definitely make it easier for people to fill up their leagues. It'll make it easier for you to find online games. The last leak is from the same account from a couple days ago saying that there was already two closed betas uh, done. Uh, when it comes to you know uh, Madden 24, one was in uh, one was on 324 and the other was on 43. One was an internal, one was an external. Now it doesn't really say um, you know the internal probably means that there are people working for Madden. External probably means people closely connected to Madden, uh, connected to EA. Things like um, you know probably pro players and stuff like that, just trying out the online. Uh, but there still should be more betas. I went over in a previous video, which I'll pop back up on screen in a moment, uh, about how to sign up for the um, the other for the beta coming out in June. Uh, but that's mostly going to be people that were affected by the uh, the cloud corruption. I went over some of these uh, leaks uh, earlier in a video. I will have that popping up on screen from something I put out a couple weeks ago, including a few more things. So if you guys want to see more stuff about Madden 24, just click on the link and that will uh, take you right to that. And I'm sure that, uh, you know, like I said, I, I've already called quite a few of these things and then there's now becoming more official because of the leaks. But if you want to see more information, check those out. Other than that, thanks for watching man wish it out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below